Hello physics students, this video will help you to find out work function using the PHET simulation about photoelectric effect. I apologize for the, um, the noises outside. Um, the school is in session and my, my microphone is sensitive enough to pick up all of the people as they walk in the hallways and the kids as they are screaming out on the soccer field. Uh, so sorry about those, all the, all the noise in the background. Uh, in front of you, you can see um, here's the equation uh, for photoelectric effect. On the left side, we have the energy of oncoming uh, photons, the incident photons. On the right side, we have the work function, the A, and the kinetic energy of the released electrons. Work function is a material constant, it's different for different metals, uh, and it is the amount of energy that needs to be basically given to the atoms of that metal in in um, order to steal an electron from them, so, so to ionize that, uh, that particular metallic atom. And we're probably stealing the, the electrons that are on the outermost energy shell, so the, the valence electrons, basically. Um, okay, um, so PHET simulation is it's shown in front of you. Um, we have a metal plate in here in an evacuated glass flask. Uh, you can choose a metal, uh, let me choose copper. So I'll show you how to do this with copper and he will do this for a different metal. Um, let's increase the intensity so we're actually shining light um, on the metal plate. And right now you can see that none, no electrons are being uh, kicked out. So let's actually turn on the photon so you can see the individual photons are hitting the, the metal plate. Uh, at this particular uh, wavelength, 400 nanometers, uh, which corresponds to a certain energy for these photons, the energy is not enough to uh, kick out any electrons. So right now, the energy of the this on the left side, this is uh, it says H times nu. Uh, the nu is a Greek letter, but it basically stands for F frequency. So this is the familiar on the left side. Here we have uh, Planck's constant times frequency. This value right now it's not large enough to kick out the electrons. So it's less than the work function for this particular metal, for copper. Um, so as we decrease the wavelength or increase frequency, at a certain, at a certain point, okay, you can see now that electrons are being kicked out from the, from the metal. Let me turn off the photons. Okay, so now you can only see uh, the electrons being kicked out. Some of the electrons are faster, some are slower. This probably has to do with the fact from which energy level the electrons were kicked out. The fastest electrons are the ones that require the least amount of work to be kicked out of the metal and the slower ones are probably from the lower, more energy, uh, more energetic uh, shells on which the, which the electrons were. <coughs> uh, so uh, Your goal, or your, your, uh, what you're trying to find out, is the value of A in joules. Um, usually you find this in tables in, in electron volts, but um, because we haven't spoken about electron volts very much, I want you to find it in joules. So what you need to do, or, or the, the idea is that um, in the simple equation which you have here in front of you, uh, we know the left side because we know the frequency of this light and we know the Planck's constant. The frequency can be easily found from the wavelength, you know, the relationship between wavelength and frequency, um, they are related through the speed of light. Okay? So for this particular uh, wavelength, you can find the frequency and from that you can find the energy of these individual photons. Now, you will be able to solve for A if you can find out the kinetic energy of these, of these uh, kicked out electrons. And how we do that in the simulation is that we apply a stopping potential. There are two electrodes in here. Right now, um, they are not charged at all, but we have a battery in here. And using the battery, we can charge these two plates. Uh, and as we charge the plates, we can find uh, a, a particular voltage, uh, which will stop the fastest of these electrons. Let me show you what I mean. Um, as I notice that the electrons sped up, this is because I made this uh, 
I made this right um, plate in here positive. So the electrons are actually being now at, attracted even um, to this to this plate, which is speeding them up. We want the opposite. So as I switch the polarity of the plates, you can see that now on the right side I, here I have the negative plate, and on the left side I have a positive plate. So the electrons are now being actually repelled back into the copper plate. So as I'm increasing the potential, you can see that less and less of the electrons actually make it into the to the to the negative plate. Um, you can actually switch here to show only the highest energy electron. There is a little tick mark that you can place in here. Now it's showing only the highest energy electron. These are the ones that we want them to come as close as possible to the to the negative plate. So right now I'm stopping them relatively far away from the from the negative plate. I want them to be able to come as close as possible. So I will actually decrease this negative voltage now. And they're still making it. So let's go back, let's increase it. Now we have negative two volts. Okay, they're still making it. Ooh. This is very close now. Um, so at negative 2.4 volts, <clears throat> they're almost there at the plate. Let's see if I can go to, can I get, go to 2.35? <coughs> Let's see what's happening at 2.35 volts. You can see that it's, we're very close now. Let's go to negative 2.38. What will this do? Okay, how about negative 2.39? Am I going the wrong direction? I think I am. How about negative 3.4? Okay, not there yet, negative. 2.3 Okay, this is very 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 close now. I think I'll just go with 3.0 Okay, at this moment, I'm basically stopping the electrons right at the right at the plate. Maybe we can go to negative 2.9 2.29 I mean <clears throat> they should be basically almost touching the plate. Yeah, they're almost touching the plate. So I will use this value. This is the, remember, um, voltage is energy per charge. So what we are saying is that uh, when I apply this stopping potential in here, so the work I'm doing on these electrons right now is 2.29 joules per coulomb. Of course, the energy of a single, sorry, the, the charge of a single electron is not uh, one coulomb. So to find the energy or the work that I'm doing on stopping these electrons, uh, which is the kinetic energy, the, their original kinetic energy is they're being kicked out. Okay? I can find this energy of these electrons by multiplying the charge of an electron by this voltage. So I would just go 1.602 1, 1 times 10 to the negative 19th coulomb multiplied by, by 2.29. The sign here does not really matter. 2.29 volts. And that is going to give me the energy of these, the kinetic energy of these electrons um, when they were kicked out in joules. Okay, so at that point, at that point, you have uh, everything for the equation in able to find A, the work function. You have the energy of the incident uh, photons. You have the energy of the kicked out electrons. The only thing you are missing is A, the work function. Um, so do this for platinum, okay, change this to platinum metal and uh, find um, the, the work function for platinum this way. Please uh, take screenshots showing the, the stopping potential, showing the electrons that they are being stopped before they reach the plate um, with the stopping potential. 
and then show all of the calculations you are doing uh, to come up with the work function for platinum. Uh, once you are done with that, go on, uh, you know, Google the work function for platinum, compare your value with the value that you find, uh, and upload all of these values through the upload link in the, in the assignment. Let me know, email me, um, or Skype me if you have any questions about this. I hope I explained this um, in a way that you would be able to understand it. If not, please let me know by email, by Skype, uh, and we can discuss uh, individually how to do this.